Hello Drama Club, we've got an interesting video here for you today because I didn't actually finish all of the recording before we made this video. So, I would just like to post what I have so that way I can get the next two videos out. I, I just want to let you know that some parts of it aren't actually going to be there or are going to be voiced over instead of actual the scene. So I just hope you know that. Let's go on with the video. Thanks guys. Secret thespian, once again. I don't plan on solving a mystery this time after what happened last time and I don't want to go back but then again I had a feeling something was about to walk through my door to change all of that hey boss uh, what what what's going on it's secret desk for you making we got mysteries to solve let's go you think I don't know that you think I don't know a secret thespian time I can't anymore I may have solved the mystery but I lost I couldn't do it. I just couldn't save everyone in time. But boss, she's behind bars. You did your job. What are you worrying about? Whether or not she's behind bars, I didn't get there in time. I gave up that life. There ain't nothing you can say that'll get me back. Well, I got this anonymous letter that says otherwise. Besides that, what do you got for me? I don't know, boss. I just got this letter that was labeled for the detective. One last case. You and me, all right? Action. Last case, I swear. What do you say? Well, I suppose there's only one thing left to say. Let the games begin. Another letter with another code. Nothing I haven't sold before. In fact, it looked very similar. Too similar. I only know someone who writes like that. Cadence Rasmussen. <sighs> Hello, Miss Rasmussen. Yo me puedo decir. I'm here for some information. Why are you asking me? You knew plenty enough last time. Well, you're the one writing letters. I ain't talking! Well, then it's time to take a different approach to questioning. Like what? Let's just say I'll let my fists do the talking. Visiting time's over, detective. You escaped this time, but I'll be back. I'll be here. Where else could I go? Little does he know, my escape plan's already in <laughs> <laughs> With my old nemesis being absolutely no help to me, I decided to sit back with my best pal and be solved some of the evidence that came our way, and we narrowed down many people, in the end between about five. So, it was time for interviews. Alright, so here's the, here's the plan, here's the shtick. We're gonna go around, conduct interviews, find suspects, see witnesses and whatnot, and we're gonna collect any evidence we can off them. Got it, all right. Then we're gonna come back to headquarters, you and me converge, and we're gonna finally solve our mystery once and for all. What do you say? I like it, boss, but you get the crazy ones this time. I always do. I just have a few questions for you. Nothing big, <clears throat> nothing major. I'm turning over a new leaf. I wanna see what you got for me. Now, what do you know about who has me for Secret Thespian? I know a lot of the inner workings around the Secret Thespian thing. But I don't know who has me. Alright. What do you know then? I know who you have. I know who has Tommy. I know who... I'm pretty sure I know who has me. I know who I have. That's for sure. I don't know who has you. I see you're going to be a tough guy on this one, eh? You want to be tough? Well, then you force my hand. Let's get tough. <laughs> Sorry. You wouldn't give me the information. Now, I just got a couple of questions for you. Of course, what you say. What do you know about Secret Thespian? I don't know nothing. Who do you have for Secret Thespian? I don't have no one. <clears throat> All right. 
Tell me this. Who do you know of that has anyone a secret thespian? I don't know anyone, detective. I know nothing. All right. We're going to have to play this the hard way, I see. That's what I thought. And I'm here with Sebastian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, do you happen to know anything about the detective and who he has or who has him? Who? The detective. Who is that? I'm like talking to a wall. Do you know who has you or who has? Uh, um, yeah. Answer the question. Uh, no. Useless. <clears throat> what do you know for Secret Thespian? Tell me anything. Tell me everything. What do you know? I don't know. I don't know. All right. I see we're going to have another tough one here. <laughs> Who has me for Secret Thespian? I know you know something. All right. Another tough one. Okay. Nobody. Well, so far I was getting nothing. My sincerest hope is that my friend was doing far better than I was. But probably not. So I went back to headquarters. Maybe I could solve a little bit more based off of what I'd been given, use some observational clues and whatnot. I went over everybody's file, and after doing a lot of secure research, I ended up discovering that most people didn't fit. In the end, I ended up with about five suspects. Narrowing them down was a little harder, but I came down to thinking it may be Aralia. Now I was just waiting for word back from my friend. Little did I know it was going to be all the evidence that I needed. Boss, boss, I got a lead. Oh, please tell me you got something. They found a brown curly hair on the crime scene. What did you say? We thought it was Aralia, but she's covered for. That's the piece. But if that's the truth, then that means... It only makes sense that it was Aerolea, because Aerolea would have been able to tell Josh to text me. Josh texted me and told me to go find my gift. However, maybe it wasn't Aerolea who sent Josh in the first place. If that's the case, then who would send Josh for an extra? But he's not going to see the So he's the only person close enough to Josh who tell Josh to do that. He is Josh himself. I think that I know who this is. I think it might just be. There's only one person it could possibly be now. Unless my deductions are wrong. Well, then who is it? Partners in crime. It's not both of them. It's only one of them. But both of them are in on it. Oh, we could take two down and one here. Who is it? But it's not two of them. It's only one. I think I finally solved it. I think I got it. Come on, who is it? Joshua Lachinsky. With my final deduction made, we called him to the office so I could do a little bit of interrogation. All right, Lachinsky. We've done this before. However, this time, I know you have me for secret thespian. Fess up! I don't have you. I have Ooh. that guy. Ooh! Just like last time. All right. Well... Let's play this the fun way then, shall we? Ow! Why'd you do that? Okay, fine. I had you. Ugh. I was working for Cadence Rasmussen. Did you say Rasmussen? Yes. I need my assistant. Let's go! All right, buddy. Turns out <clears throat> it was Josh. It was him the whole time. We had it right. But he was working for the Rasmussen. You know, of course it went back to that snake. That little Medusa of a woman. But... She can't get away from us this time because she's locked in jail. We're going to go get her right now. What do you say? Let's do it. Got it. Just go. Okay. Let's go. These are obviously some of Cadence's goons hired to take us out. Don't worry. I got this. <laughs> Works every time. All right, Mr. Asmussen, it's over. Where'd she go? I don't know. <laughs> Looking for me. Mr. Asmussen, the jig is up. We caught you. I don't care if you've escaped from your cell. You're coming with us. You're gonna have to catch me first. All right, you go that way, cut her off. I'm gonna go this way. 
No point fighting anymore. It's over. We caught you. You're right. It is over. For you. Boss! <laughs> Don't die on me! <laughs> it's our last case! Remember? Ah. Oh, buddy. I did solve my last case. Finding out who'll replace me as detective. Ah. I figured I wasn't gonna make it out of this one. You're gonna have to solve the ne this next one without me. Good work, detective. <sighs> I'm sorry, boss, but I will avenge you.